Okay, I'm back with two, a number two video in this series of that trailer life. <laughs> um, in this one, I'm just basically uh, putting a TV on the wall. Um, you know, kind of boring, you know, pretty standard. Most people know how to do it, but, uh, you know, again, just something I wanted to show family and friends. Uh, most of my family like to watch this stuff. And there is a special little section for you, Charles Kohler. <laughs> So make sure you watch this, okay? Uh, and again, uh, you know, some people may like it. Some people might think it's stupid, but hey, whatever. Just something for fun, you know? Something that uh, I could share, basically. So, all right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Check it out. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, we're going to do a little video today on uh, mounting this TV. Let me see if I can get this on here. I'm using my front-facing camera. I'm going to mount this TV up on the wall today because right now when I lay in bed and try and watch TV I can't really sell the, see the TV because it's down on uh, floor level so yeah I want to get that kind of mounted in this area right here so it's viewing pretty easy it's a small television I bought but I only bought it because I was having cable installed and they had to have a TV sitting back here for me so I'm going to uh, I bought it. It's a little one. It's nothing big. I think it's 28 inch TV or something like that, but it is LED. I got it at a real good deal from Best Buy. So I got that. Um, but as I said, I can't really see TV too much, too good when I'm laying in bed. So I'm going to get it up on the wall. So i mount it up today. I'm going to put it up on a mount. I'm going to take a video of it and just pretty much show, I'm trying to show pretty much everything I do to this place. Um, I have done a couple other things that I have not shot video of, but I can't <laughs> I can't take video every time while I'm shooting. Like today, I might uh, get my tripod out, put it, put the camera up on the tripod, take some video while I'm doing it. Um, let's see what else. Originally, the TV in the living room was going to come back here, which that one's a 42, 42 or 47. I think it's 42. Um, I was going to put that TV back here and get a bigger TV for my living room, because right now with my living room being as big as it is, I don't, um, I don't. I, I, the TV's small for my living room because my living room is so long. So when I watch TV, it's very, very small, believe it or not. Everyone says, oh, it's a 42 inch. It should be plenty big. And you're right. It should be plenty big. And it is plenty big. It just looks very small for the area it's in. So I want to end up getting like a 55 or a 60. I even looked at some 70s. And your prices on TVs actually, believe it or not, are not too bad now. They're, they're coming down in price. So I wouldn't mind getting like a 60 inch 65 inch maybe a 70 or something to put it out there on the wall i think uh it'll look real good but i gotta make my wall first which i talked about in my last video i want to build a wall out here um in the living room well let's just go let's go out and i'll show you i want to build a wall out here separating my living room and my dining room because right now it's just kind of one big floor plan you know like here's my dining room hope i can hope i got this where you can see it and my living room's out there. And watching the television, right now it's on the stand. Like I said, it's like a, I think it's a 42 inch. Nothing spectacular. But when you're watching TV way back here, it looks very small from here. It looks very small. So my idea, this is my idea, is to, see how you have this, I have this lip up here. I want to pretty much build a wall here, down here to the step, it'll start here and go back to, it'll start here and go back to there. I want to build a wall here and put drywall up and probably buy this paneling so it matches the rest of the house and uh, pretty much put a big TV right here on the wall. I think that would be a good idea. Yes, I, a lot of people were saying that, uh, like my friends I was telling I was going to do that, they're saying that it'll make my dining room look tiny, which I agree it will. I know it will. Um, but what am I really going to do in this dining room? I'm really not, I'm, I never spend time in here anyway. I'm going to get a little set, a, a little table set and chairs in here. And maybe if, 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 if I ever have company over, they could sit there. But I probably won't use this area much at all. Um, matter of fact, I'm kind of debating on taking down this cabinetry. I mean, I like this cabinetry, but I'm debating taking it down because I don't use it. I have nothing really to put up there. What do I put up here? I don't know what to put up here. No idea. I don't have anything like uh, fine dishes or anything. I, I don't know what to put up there. So I really don't need, I don't feel a reason to have it, to be honest with you. So 
I might take it down and that would kind of, you know, free up some space over here on the wall. I do like the mirror over here though. I do like that. I like the big mirror, but it would free up a lot, a lot of space over here. So pretty much when I put the wall over here, it would, you know, this would accommodate it, I think, by just adding to it pretty much. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet, but anyway, the plan is today to mount the TV in the bedroom and I will do so. So, okay. So I just got back from the store, got my stuff I needed to do to mount the TV to the wall and a little word to the wise for you. A TV mount is a TV mount. Okay. Um, I, don't spend 50, 80, a hundred dollars on a damn TV mount, please. I don't know why people do that. I mean, Walmart sells them and the cheapest one they had is 40 and they go up from there. So all it does is mount your TV on the wall. I don't understand paying that kind of money for that. So I started driving around thinking, okay, where can I get a cheaper one? Cause I'm, I'm a cheapskate and I'll admit it. So, uh, I drove around. I'm thinking, okay, let me try Ollie's. Well, that's where I got this one. And it's just as good as anyone. It's a fixed mount. I don't want one that tilts and moves around. I mean, that was a little bit more. But as you can see, this one, $20. $20 TV mount. Everywhere else wanted $40 and up. So, I don't know. To me, it's just stupid just for a mount to hang a TV on a wall. I got these little clips. They're going to go on my wall to, hold my, to hide my wires. I only got two wires coming down, so it's not going to be too much of an eyesore. And, of course, you had to go get the special bolts for the back of the TV because it didn't come with the, the bolts. So, And then I got my toolbox there. I'm ready to go. Got my drill there. And uh, there's the TV. Going to have it up on the wall very soon. Okay, so I opened up the mount. There's what you get. Your brackets for the back of the TV. Brackets for the wall. An accessory pack of all kinds of hardware. And, of course, the instructions, which... I've done this before, so you really don't need instructions. Um, well, I guess you could still use them, but it doesn't really matter. You don't need to. So, all right, I pulled the TV away from the wall, unplugged everything. Now, uh, I'm not going to set up the camcorder. I'm just going to take little video clips as I go. So, right there is going to be the wall that the TV is going to go up on, up in here somewhere. So... First thing I got to do is mark my wall, drill my holes, and mount my plate. Find your studs with a handy dandy stud finder. Right, Charles Kohler? <laughs> we know how he finds his studs. He just drills holes in the wall until he hits one. <laughs> These are pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Just slide it along the wall. Once you get a stud, it'll tell you I'm on the edge. The studs right here. You can see nails there too. That's a given sign. So there was one there. There should be one coming up right on this one. Yep. So I got a stud here, which is where I'm going to go to. I'm gonna go from here up to here. So two good studs, two good mounting spots. Okay, so the mounting bracket's mounted. Sitting up there, and we are, you can see, perfectly level. I had to use two wall anchors over here. I wasn't thinking, I thought this bracket was bigger than what it is. These are the ones in the studs, so I used no wall anchors there, which is good enough. But over here, I had to use wall anchors, and I can't stand using them. They got tight, but you got to remember in a trailer, there's no stud behind there, and there's no drywall behind there. So all it was was paneling and insulation. So the wall anchors are in there, and it's being held in by that, but I don't know how well it's going to hold. But these two here are probably plenty. Maybe I should have centered centered it up over here, over top the stud more than anything, but I think it'll be fine. But anyway, the it's sitting on there, it's mounted on the shelf. Now it's time to get the TV brackets mounted on and mount the TV to the wall. So here it is, the final. I don't like that you could see the brackets, but you could see the brackets on the bottom there. Two wires running down. I'd like to have them hidden in the wall, but I'm not feeling like drilling holes in the wall and fishing wires and all that so this is going to do for now but there it is it's i see the mount up there a little bit and i see the mount down here a little bit as well but i have a little zip tie there zip tying them together straight all the way down the wall and down to the entertainment center well whatever you want to call it but anyway there it is there's a tv install Looks, it'll even look small on this wall, doesn't it? <laughs> but it'll be fine because now I'll be able to 
lay in bed and be able to watch TV. So works for me until I get a bigger TV up here. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Also, one thing more I wanted to add to this video. Sorry about the last video. I, uh, I have a habit of turning my phone and making videos like this. <laughs> so I will uh, work on that and make sure I take videos in the right mode. That way uh, the viewing is much better. Okay, so uh, hopefully you won't see no more of that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.